Ladies and gentlemen, right now, we are joined by Tristan of all the yeah, breakdowns. Yeah. What's up, fools? What's up, man? How are you doing today? Good. How are you guys doing? We are doing better now. Appreciate you. Uh, should we expect Logan as well? We are expecting Logan. Oh, um, there he goes. Right on time. So, there we go. There right go. on time. Hell yeah. Uh, while he gets his camera and mic set up. Tristan, if you could, for those that may not know you, sir, can you properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right this moment and uh, plug and promote anything and everything. Yeah, well, uh, I'm Tristan. I play guitar in all the pretty things. Uh, I currently reside in San Antonio, Texas. The band is based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, we're a bunch of old dudes who are making new music, and you can find us online at allthepretythingsofficial.com uh logan is wearing a very lovely shirt so that has distracted me uh <laughs> and uh pretty much yeah all our social media is all the pretty things official um so just find us on there follow us uh we love to hear from everybody so yeah just uh check it out if you want hell yeah uh and then logan your mic is muted if you could unmute that for us how are you sir hey, how about now you're, you're golden i'm good how did you? Yeah, how did yeah, you? Uh, you oh, dude, it's the the pleasure's all ours, and I I got a, a chance last night to jam both songs and then kind of like deep dive your history uh, in music, Logan. I'm talking uh, the I jammed uh, Demona Waits and Mood Mechanics, especially though, like sucked me into my zone, man. It, it reminded me of like really? Harvard meets like Edison Glass. Are no you shit. are you familiar well, with hey, Edison hey, Glass? Thank you very much for Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Tristan, would you I, agree uh, with that? Uh, would you agree with that assessment, though, uh, as far as what uh, his old stuff kind of sounds like? I mean, yeah, hundred uh, percent. Edison Glass were uh, a great band, and um, Mood Mechanics was also something that I heard before Logan even auditioned to be part of this band. So, so you already knew who he group. was before the audition. Um, you, Kind of, yeah, through Worth suggesting that this would be somebody that we would have in the band. Um, and I was like, you know, send me some stuff to check out. And the, the stuff that he sent was the mood mechanic stuff. And then so, once I heard that, that was obviously like, we have to have this guy. So let, let's talk about right. the formation of the group. How did you guys reach out to, to the other members? How did this essentially a super group get built? Ooh, well, okay, you. well, sure, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> It started with me wanting to do a project. Um, I wanted to play the music that I wanted to play instead of being in somebody else's band. Um, and my paths crossed with Worth. Um, we started writing together at some point. And then once we kind of, we had like four songs that we demoed out. Uh, we actually had our buddy, uh, Jesse from He Is Legend, play the drums on him just so that we had something. Um, and then once we kind of started, started getting the sound together and we thought, oh, wow, well, we, we could really like do a band with this. This sounds like something we could do, but we need to find a vocalist. Like that's the next important thing. We can find a drummer. We can find a bass player if we want. It'll just take a lot longer to find the right guy. So we started searching for singers, um, Logan was somebody that was actually brought to my attention pretty early on in the process. Um, but he was being a little tease and kept us, uh, kept us wanting more and wanting something for song and send us a, an audition, if you will. Um, that was the moment where we were like, this is the guy for the, the band. There's no one else. So once that was in effect, um, that's when I brought Jeremy in um him and i've been friends for a long time we you know we talked all the time and it was nice to just be like hey man i need you to play drums in this band and he's like okay cool just like that so just like that um and so yeah that's how um that's how it came together i think we we did one session with with jeremy like playing some uh 
some tracks for what is now becoming our record. And once the guys met him, they were like, yep, this is, this is the dude. So um, it was pretty, pretty easy how we were just. That is awesome. It took a long time, but it was easy. That is awesome. It, I, that I know I'm moving sense. slow on your guys' end, but don't worry. It doesn't affect anything on, on the, the streaming end. But uh, my co-host today is JB. He goes by JB Music 661 and just about everything. JB, what questions do you have for the fells? Just a random question. Uh, but first, thank you, gentlemen, so much for joining us today. Really do appreciate you guys taking the time to do so. Tristan, yeah. you said you're from uh, you're residing in uh, in Texas right now. Um, do right. I hear a little bit of an accent, or what? Is that you're originally from Texas, or? Uh, well, um, my Texan drawl might have uh, masked my actual true identity. Um, I'm originally South African, um, and then I I left South Africa about 24 years ago, and then I lived in the UK for a while, and then around 2007 was the first time that i that i moved to the states and then right on now. back then back to the uk and then back yeah i don't know I'm, i moved around a lot uh, <laughs> and now yeah and then logan I'm about to go to the uk oh yeah jb is going to take a uk trip here soon that's awesome uh logan so what yep. what was the the thing that caught your ear when uh, when you started researching all their music and these demos like what what made you say this is the next project i've been looking for Oh yeah, man. Uh, lots of stuff. I don't know how we're deep we're going, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. Um, so I was at worth studio slash house recording bass for like a different project, sort of like an Americana roots rock type of project. Um, and he showed me some of this stuff and I had, I had known worth for many, many years. We hadn't been like super close necessarily until maybe a, a couple years prior to this, this time I'm talking about now. Um, and so we we knew of each other. We knew we knew you know that we were like reliable musician people that knew how to how to do things properly. Um, and he was like, "Let me show you this stuff." Me and this this guy, these guys recorded the other day. Guy. Yeah, I, well, because I mean, I didn't I didn't know Tristan at all, so it was like some yeah, this guy, whatever, it doesn't matter right now. And he showed me uh, the song that we just put out every now and then. And dude, immediately I was like, "Okay, uh, sounds like you're looking for a singer." please send me this. Um, and it just had that vibe where it was like, so I grew up in the scene, like the, the early two thousands, like scene of all scenes. And it was like what I was used to writing. And I mean, I was in bands before Demona Waits, which you listen to Demona Waits was probably like the more extreme end of the scene that I was in before that it was more melodic, like, like all the pretty things. Um, and since then i had gotten into like indie so like mood mechanics is basically just me smoking a whole lot of pot and listening to radiohead way too much Smoke that's, weed that's every day. Perfectly honest. it's nothing wrong with yeah. that I, I i see no complaints there hell yeah <laughs> but yeah but you know i went off on that tangent like it seems like all the scene kids either got into like trippy indie rock or like americana and i went trippy indie rock and i had been playing in a band with someone that i was in a relationship with at the time and that music was just so devastatingly uninteresting that um i i was like itching for something to get the demons out and i heard that stuff and i was like man this is like this is my wheelhouse these are my roots i and i would love to get back to it it, it had been many years and i just knew it was a thing i had something to offer on because it's what i grew up with you know sativa indica or hybrid in favorite song on okay computer Sativa, because it's a working man's weed. I can still get stuff done. Yes, sir. Um, and on OK Computer, man, that is a hell of a question. But track nine, the one that... I am the key to the lock in your house. That joy. I love Ooh. it. I love it. Hell yeah. Tristan, did you bring hot sauce, sir? Yeah, I did. I did. I, ha I have a little something something here yeah. Yeah. what what you got hold it up so we can see it. what is it uh it is yellow bird serrano uh i picked this up by accident it's delicious it's not crazy hot uh but it's very tasty so that's been my my jam lately well the goal is to get you to consume that uh, i don't i'm assuming logan you don't have any in your car maybe there's a taco bell condiment or something lying around in there i don't know but if not it's okay what 
you guys get to pick. So we do a, we do a trivia segment where we ask you to bring hot sauce. It's okay if you did it. But um, what movie or TV show, if you guys could agree on one, a movie or a TV show, that if we ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. I'll give you a second to think about it and discuss. Mm. I want to play every now and then, which is my preferred favorite of the two, though I do love Teenage Lines, but I jammed this song like 10 times last night. One of my new favorites right here. Uh, if you guys are watching, please go on Spotify. Hit that follow button. Support them. It's so good, but the melody structure of the hook is like 100% reminds me of uh, an Edison Glass song. That's why I mentioned that earlier, which is a compliment. I, I love that band. Gentlemen, did you decide on a movie or a TV show? We, we did. Um, you want to you wanna, you wanna say it? I mean, Jurassic Park feels like a good one. Like the OG Jurassic Park? OG. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. The Jurassic Park. JB, hit him with another one and give me a second to, to look up some Jurassic Park trivia. Oh, God. How deep are we? Uh, uh. I got to stump you. <laughs> yeah, so, stump. out of all your musical careers, for and this question's for both of y'all, which city do you think, in your own opinion, has been the most beneficial for your music and yourself? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I've always loved playing New York City. Um, it's always a pain in the ass. Um, the venues are quirky. Getting in and out of the city is a nightmare. But no, the shows are getting... always great. Mm. You guys are yeah, I can, I can agree with that one, to be honest with you, man. I've, I've played a good amount of, like, roughing it type shows in New York and not quite as much roughing it type shows in New York. And it's it, it definitely um, makes you earn it, for sure. Hell yeah. Yo, there's no way you guys are getting this trivia. There's just no way. Here we go. Wait, now I ask, what movie? You told me this. You told me Jurassic Park. My job is to stump you. Here we go. In the movie, a Triceratops gets sick by eating berries. What kind of berries Question. does Ellie say made the Triceratops sick? What'd you say? West Indian lion. West Indian lion. Holy yeah. That is correct! Yeah, hell yeah. I thought for sure. Damn it. All right, I'm going to consume some blueberry hot sauce because I was not able to stump you. Well done. Not even... It took him one second. Unbelievable. I just did not... I literally have West I like tattooed on my arm in, in the middle of another Jurassic Park tattoo as a deep for the Jurassic Park reference. Wow. I'm gonna have to dig really deep for the second one, fellas. Have you have you ever considered um, having like a, a another feature on on? You said you're working on the album. Is there any like uh, feature considerations? Maybe like a, a big name or something to tag along to a song. I know maybe you can't discuss that, but has that been discussed? Um, yeah, it has been discussed. Um, we've thrown some a bunch of names around. Um, but I think ultimately for this first record, uh, we kind of just wanted to do it ourselves. Um, not to say that there's anything bad with collaborating with people. I just think it would be nice to, um, at least the first time we, you know, put ourselves out there, it would be just us by ourselves and proving what we can do by ourselves rather than trying to use somebody else's name to kind of further uh our agenda if, if you will not that there's anything wrong with that um i would love to collaborate with a bunch of people uh but i think for this first one just to kind of say like hey hello this is who we are it's it's authentically ourselves i think that's the idea i can dig it i, I totally think that's fair and it's it's a good way to present the band for the first viewing uh for the audience is is here's us not here's us featuring some ginormous name uh, i totally get it for sure yeah, exactly. And I think I think going forward, if we were to do that, the idea is that we're just going to have whoever be on the song 
but really not make a huge deal out of it. Like if somebody knows whose voice that is, they can find that out and it's a cool tidbit, but I don't really want to, you know. It's like an uncredited, like a, like a credited, but not listed on the video or Spotify. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool. Unless, you know, th unless the arrangement with the person whoever is doing it is a different thing. It just depends on yeah. how we want to do it at the time, but that's the idea anyway. All right, we're going to try this one more time, this Jurassic Park trivia. Here we go. One more time. In the movie, Grant and the kids almost get trampled. What is the breed of dinosaur that almost tramples them? They say it during the scene. Uh, um, a gala, a ga gala minus. <laughs> Mother f That is correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, you have definitely seen Jurassic Park more than once. Well done. Damn it. Take pride in the stumps, not able to do it. Thus meaning I have to consume a different hot sauce and chug a beer and rip the bog. It's all coming. JB, hit him with another one. I got, I got some catching up to do on my end real quick. Bong rip is what it landed on. You guys did mention uh, a new uh, album coming out. Uh, what, if you guys can, um, what are you guys' plans for the rest of the year? I think it's just, um, <clears throat> well, we got a, we're so we're getting this thing mixed by Bo Burchell of uh, of Sayos and Hell yeah, Judge Bo, an absolute monster at all things, all things music, um, <clears throat> and. You know, we've been trying to build a relationship with him. And I mean, Tristan's had a relationship with him for a long time. But, you know, he seems just as excited as we are about working on this record. And I, so we're going to take our time making sure everything's right. Not that it'll take him long because he's a total badass. But um, we're going to do that. We're going to try and pitch it around the best we can, make as many connections as we can. And then, man, I think the goal is to start uh, hitting up festivals and um, playing shows, doing live streams, you know, kind of kind of taking this thing that we were able to create in the studio and then showing showing the world that we we can do this like in, a, in an actual live setting. You know, there's a lot of uh, man, there's a lot of insanely talented bands. And and this this scene in particular is kind of having like a massive reawakening, it seems like, over the past few years. And um I mean, and and all the dudes that were that were involved back when I was growing up and looking up to them are still on top of their game, and so it's not something we're taking lightly. It's just we we've, we've got to get out there and like show them that we can we can also be a part of this, you know. Um, and that's that's really the goal is just do whatever we have to do to build the brand and um, prove ourselves as a, a a live artist as well as a studio artist. Fellas, we got time for a couple more. Um, I I do have a kind of a serious one, being that you are. You've been in the industry for a bit as far as multiple projects and and playing shows and that kind of thing and now you have this new project a how would you recommend uh, a smaller artist who wants to dive into a side project go about it and also can you tell us a an early on local band mistake you made that you don't want any other local bands to make tristan you want to take the first part of that or the second part of that? <laughs> I'll take the second part of that. Of course you will. Yes. Okay, so the first part was um, <clears throat> what What should they do if they want to start a side project, like how to go about it? Yeah, because I, like, I feel like when you present that idea to your normal band, sometimes it can scare the members and they'll be like, oh, he's going to put all his time in this new project. Like, how, do you, how do you keep that current project but still get the approval, I guess you'd say, if that makes sense. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I get that. And I get that there are politics within bands and that sort of thing. But, you know, you kind of got to just do what's right for you. If, if you're still committed to the original band in the first place, then, yeah, go for it. And I think you just have to be prepared to, like, know your limits creatively and or be willing to very much push those limits creatively because you're going to have a lot of material to come up with and neither band is going to be happy if you're giving all your creative energy to one or the other. And I mean, there has to be a clear idea and a clear brand for each band, A, so that you don't step on each other's toes. B, 
you you have to be confident in yourself enough as whether whether you're a songwriter or just you know featuring drums on the side project or whatever you you have to be confident enough and uh, well rehearsed enough to actually be able to keep up with it all but I think the most important part with that is is honestly anybody who's actually passionate enough will find the time to rehearse the time to write the time to perform the time to record um you just have to keep pushing man you got to make your life all about it like we i feel like we put our we put all the eggs in the basket here man like we're like i'm ready to, i'm ready to roll on this thing it's like I, I, I would bet anything on it and and you you also at the same time have to be prepared to not have it do what you want it to do i guess you know like not not prepared like <clears throat> acquiescing to failure but more so like am i going to be okay if this doesn't work out you know but in the meantime treat it as if there's no other option but to succeed i like that good advice and then tristan uh part two yeah part two um so remind me again what it was i had it in my head uh, like a like a mistake now. like a mistake you may have made uh in your oh, in your yeah, first yeah, band yeah. that you don't want somebody to make yeah um this one band i did i was super excited to put the, the, the product out there and i just put it out i didn't think about uh, a release strategy or any of that kind of stuff so in the end i i think we sold maybe one copy of of the ep just um, one just one one whole copy yes one whole copy um so it's better than none yeah well it's better than none but you know <laughs> it would have been nice to sell a couple more or you know even have people listen to it streaming wise um it didn't go out on any of the streaming services i think it was it's still just on Bandcamp, and that, that's the only thing it's on um and so yeah i just put it out there and made a huge boo-boo and like all the songs got wasted and the band was just so like deflated about the whole situation it was uh yeah it wasn't great um, so don't do that uh have have some sort of um plan or strategy to follow um to ensure that most like, a lot of people can listen to your stuff um uh, don't just put it out there unless you're beyonce in which case do whatever you want is there is there a potential release date? I know you can't say, but like, can we expect the album by the end of the year? Or are we thinking like early I next would, year? I would love to think so. Um, we actually haven't even got as far as talking about a release date yet. Obviously, we're excited to put it out. Um, we're just trying to see what this is going to sound like as a full product first before we decide uh whether it's going to be a full length or maybe we cut it down to an ep and have a bunch of eps come out first we haven't fully realized that we're leaning towards a record um so that's likely the plan um and hopefully out by the end of the year it just depends on um a few factors that we are not haven't discussed yet so gotcha J jb uh send them out on a high note with the final question and save the world was like, you know what? No more music for you right now. And you have to leave this world, whatever, if it's death, whatever it may be. What is one message you want to leave this world when it comes to mu your music? Okay, so the scenario is <clears throat> we're speaking from what we want our music to tell people, but we never get to play music again. Exactly. It's a deep one. Ooh, but that's a fantastic question that is a fantastic um, question i'm kind of stumped with that one for me it's um know yourself know the people around you know your worth know their worth and um treat everyone accordingly <laughs> i love it i love it too yeah it's fair enough. Lame. I, ha I have nothing <laughs> for sure uh and the then brain is broken really quick toss out all your social media links one more time if if you guys could is it just it's just all the pretty things as as one word or is there like a band or yeah all the pretty things official one word uh for everything um I, we're starting a tiktok and that is all the pretty things band uh all the pretty things official was too long apparently 
Um, so Logan's going to be um, twerking on the uh, TikToks. Uh, get to very it. Soon. Give him that sativa. Yeah. Get get him to twerking. Okay. okay. Hell yeah, gentlemen, this is a lot of fun, man. What you got, Logan? <laughs> he said he's ready. He's ready to get. Instead of twerking, man. <laughs> it felt good. <laughs> Fellas, this is fun. I, I appreciate you guys. We're excited to hear the record. Uh, we're going to keep showing some people the, the two songs you have out right now, which are absolutely fantastic. Uh, keep oh, doing yeah. your thing. We're Please, uh, if we could do a follow-up, let's say like seven or eight months from now when, when some more information is out about, about the record, about with how Bo's coming along on the production aspect, all that, maybe we can do a, a short follow-up with you guys. That's cool? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you again for having us, and uh, maybe next time. You'll get me to ah. do a shot of hot sauce in my eye or something. <laughs> we we wouldn't ask that, but if you're willing to do it, I'd totally uh, I'd clip it and put post it everywhere for sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see how we feel about it. Tristan and Logan, ladies and gentlemen, of all the pretty things. Yeah, hell yeah! Thank you, fellas. Have a fantastic day. We appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks again.